Hey there, YouTube. It's Mr. B from Pint of Stuff, and we are going to be doing another Nike SP Dunk Pro Type unboxing. Now, many of you will know what this is, but I'm going to do the usual thing. And also, I'm not actually unboxing them in the traditional fashion. I've already sort of taken them out because I was too excited to look at them. But let's have a look over here, SJ, and hopefully everybody can still hear me. So what have we got? We have got a Nike SB Dunk Low Pro Premium, I'm assuming PRM stands for. They're a UK 11, that makes them a US 12, that makes them a women's US 13.5, and in the UK, just an 11. Um, the code is CV0316400, and the color, the color, is Mystic Navy Seal Mystic, no, not Seal, Sail, can't read. Sale Mystic Navy, but no one cares about that, SJ. Everyone wants to look at it, but also purple box. So not particularly in technically a special shoe, everyone. And um, if you don't know what we do, Russell, Russell, we tend to do these sneaker unboxings. Um, we, we tend to do a lot of SBs and these look amazing, by the way, everyone. We tend to do a lot of SBs. We do these cinematic on foot. And if you wait later in the video you will actually see that so hang around and you'll see that our the the pint of stuff style um thing but we also do um sneaker streaming sundays every sunday uh at 8 p.m uk time that is people that is about 12 p.m on the west coast 3 p.m on the east coast but first of all just take a look at the shash sashiko dunk i can't say it everyone but i'm going to come right to, because these are the thing to behold. In fact, I'm going to swap with the other one because the spare laces are in there and I, I don't want you getting confused. So let's first of all have a look at that. SJ, is it focused? It's good, yeah. Now I, I, I did a weight session today. So holding this up like this, which wouldn't you wouldn't seem would be particularly difficult, everyone. But as I turn this and before we go in onto the details and you just get to see it, you'd be surprised. It don't get heavier um, at the end of the day. But these are, they are a lovely shoe. So why are they called Shashiko? And I'm getting that wrong. But if you have a look here, and I'm like the swoosh, the stitching and everything, and the stitching here and this blue. And in fact, we're going to go straight in there on the tongue. That is inspired by a Japanese methodology of um, decorating, um, which actually came about in the 17th century. I think it was sort of started in about 1603 now it wasn't initially for decorating shoes it was to actually like this bit here if you can imagine this was the elbow patch if you imagine that was an elbow patch um it reinforces it and it adds so they're able to stitch in padding and reinforcing and so it originally was actually had a really practical function but as we look now and as it emerged in the in the future back then in the future in the past you know what i'm trying to say it turned into quite a decorative thing and actually always inspired by nature and so it was always quite organic shapes um and often and originally started off on blue fabric and we've got here and we're going to go to the other camera sg because i can't hold that up anymore <laughs> so, oh my word we're going to come over onto camera two so we've got a really dark blue denim and you can see that there now i love denim on dunks you know i've got reese forbes i've got the 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 rivals um east coast pack inspired by mr biggie himself but we can see already this really nice denim and in fact um i'm gonna get this wrong sort of inspired by i'm gonna get this wrong sj selvage how, how do you say it selvage denim so you've got that really lovely dark now also the thing i wanted to call out have a look on the back there it's quite raw it's quite unfinished I'm going to go right in close so you can see the seam look at that there you can see that now i'm just going to move that there nicely i'm going to just swish swish swished it round there we go and the other thing i want to say as well is gum sole everyone you know i all love a gum sole so we're going to flip back there now as always with nike sb we'll go to the other camera sj as always with nike sb they're not frightened to mess with the swoosh they're not and so what we can see is they've removed the usual swoosh and they've they've stitched it in there with that shishiko style in fact we're going to come over i wonder if this camera's going to do anything this time around sj um 
No, it's a bit dark, but you get you get the you get the idea, everyone. You get the idea. Um, that was SJ. She's been on the old um, exercise today, and that's what she's there. Is we're gonna come back into the other camera. Oh no, it's working. It's actually working. So Shashiko, and I'm saying that badly. It, I think it translates roughly to mean little stabs or little pierce. And if you look at the stitching, you can kind of understand why it says that. So we're going to come back to the main camera because I can't hold that up anymore. And I want to talk to you about another detail. I do. So we've got the denim. We've got the denim here. And you can see that there. But what we've also got on the front is quite a... It's nearly a shaggy suede nearly a shaggy suede it's not quite but it's not your usual sb suede so you can see that everyone it's not that usual rough sb suede at all i'm going to put it like that hopefully you're getting that the other detail that you can see there and i'm sj's calling me right in close i don't know if that's going to focus it is focusing so that other detail that, that we can see here is Normally, we would have standard perforation, perforated holes there, but actually we've got little stars, um, which obviously follow through from the stars that we always see on the sole. So you can see that there, but these are a bit wider, and I really like that detail. And in fact, what they've done, everyone, is you've got the stars, but they've actually got some reinforcing underneath, so the toe box should hold its shape, so you can see the whiteness through there which is a really, really nice detail. And this suede, you know, it basically is the toe box, but also if we go to the back, and there we go, you can see that there. Now, I'm gonna to flip to the other camera because we're gonna do the SJ test. Is the Nike, everyone, and I don't know if I can, I'm, I'm gonna move, hang on, sorry, I'm just gonna move the mic because I can't, I can't contort my body today. I've done far too much. Overdone it, some people might say. Um, are we going to say that the Nike straight? It's not. The E's weird. The E's weird again. So we're going to go, yeah, the E's, E's, <laughs> the E's, the easy E's is weird. Also, take a look at the lovely thing that they've done on the tongue tab there. Um, it's really nice. I'm going right in close. SJ's directing me from behind the camera here. And I just love the way that sort of zigzags across, across the tongue tab. Ooh, drift in there. Now, there's nothing special. And I'm going to come straight back here. There's nothing special about the inner sole on these. Um, but what I will say is there's a, th there is a pack for these so that there are some blazers. There's also randomly a really nice, um, really, really nice Janowski in this sort of, in this sort of brown. Um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> just making all kinds of noise um, in this brown. Now, um, we also want to see the alternate laces. So we've got uh, a blue. I don't think they work. Um, I'm sticking with the white. I like a contrasting lace. Um, and the other thing to note as well is they do have a nice puffy tongue, which we can see there. Um, you know, that's nice and fat. A lovely fat tongue there. Nice white midsole. And then, as I've already said, the gum sole. Now, these are absolutely a bang into uh, a bang and dunk now they in theory that they were just a gr just but as always at the moment the dunks that they they sort of sold out everywhere so um but you know like that's you know we, we, we were lucky we managed to get hold of them so hang around because right now we're gonna have the cinematic on foot and that is gonna be somewhere i think over there love is love Love is love.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. It's, uh, as always, <laughs> it's certainly been very interesting to edit these. I'm sure you can agree with me that these are, if we have a look, have another look, people. These are an absolutely banging dunk. And the thing is, with the Shashiko, like, I'm loving the, the, the denim. I'm loving the blue, as I said. It is absolutely a stunning, stunning dunk. And actually, I, I talked a little bit, but if you really look up close there, have a look. Come on, focus. Look at this. Look at that there. Look how it is unfinished. But you know what? It really reminded me of another dunk. And I talked about this on Sneaker Streaming Sunday. But look, it reminded me a little bit. Let's get the two. Let's get the two here. It reminded me. <laughs> can't do this. It reminded me of the Rivals pack. So there's there. Let's have a look. Different, different denim, but I really like a blue dunk. I think they go, I think a blue dunk really, really works well. And, I, you know, the more I look at it, like, let's have a look. Similar sole, similar sole, everyone. Midsole's white, midsole's white. In fact, why don't we, why don't we flick to the other camera, SJ? So let's do that. Boom. So we flick to the other camera just so that we can have another look at this. It's been a while, but have a look at that. So there you go. Hopefully all focused there. Amazing dunk that. Now let's have a look at, at this year's denim blue, the Shashiko. As I said in the in the original unboxing video that we saw a little bit earlier. Um, come on, camera, do the thing. Boom! Such a good shoe. But yeah, I would uh, I definitely recommend this to everyone. I know it that they, they haven't quite landed in the US yet, or it's, it's proving really really difficult to get. So if you have got them in the US, congratulations because it's such a cool dunk. Now we are looking to get the blazers of these and the Janoski, as I said um, prior to the um, the the on foot. But yeah, what do you all think? Let me know in the comments. Have you managed to pick these up? Are you one of those people who don't like denim dunks, denim sh on shoes? Let us know in the comments. And of course, people, if you don't know what we do, we do tend to do these sneaker unboxings. If you have made it this far, don't forget to subscribe. Give us a massive thumbs up. Give us a thumbs down. That's, that's cool as well. And I was always say, don't forget to join us on Sneaker Streaming Sundays. That's every Sunday at uh, 8 p.m. UK time. That's 12 p.m. on the West Coast. That's about 3 p.m. on the East Coast. We get together with a bunch of people and we talk sneakers, talk some other stuff. We have a look at Instagram. We have a look at the news. We look at what we won on the feet that week. And generally, it's just a bunch of people talking shoes, but in a kind of a fun kind of way. So, yeah. And uh, so that's all there is left for me to say at the moment. Um, as I said, don't forget to let us know. Did you manage to get these? Have another, another look, people. Have another look at how good that dunk is. It is a thing of absolute beauty. It is absolutely stunning. And uh, yeah, um, and of course, if you're still here, go and have a look. Go and have a look, people. Go and have a look. There's a video over here somewhere. Probably that one. You might like that one. Um, maybe this one. That one. That one's quite a good one as well. And uh, we'll leave a link as well in the description um, to the Rivals pack, which we did ages, ages ago. So uh, yeah, he's still here. Go and look at one of those videos. Go and do it. Go and do it. I don't know why this isn't focusing on me. Go and do it.